I can't harm you. I can't see you. And unless you allow my communicate with me, you spoke past her. Did y'all just make a sound? Do what? Did y'all just uh, pop something or knock on something? Okay guys, wow. I know we haven't updated in a while, but things went completely insane. We were doing isolations and I was by myself. And uh, look at this. Well, you can't see it from that. Hold on. That's been like that for the last hour. Well, anyway, I was sitting there and um, some stuff happened. Some anger issues. Um, I don't even know how to explain it. And now we're going through... If you're watching how I'm going, this area has been like weird. Well, we're Jeff. Nope. I thought Jeff was going there. This area right here, we kept getting wavy. Um, the client got a picture of a shadow in this room, a little higher than this. In this area, we kept getting like we were being shoved against the wall. The client has multiple pictures of weird anomalies, anomalies shadows. Uh, Jason from left to right saw a big fat dude run. Well, this door had slammed. I want you to see this. See if you can see that. See that? It slammed against the wall. After that happened, things started going nuts. Every one of us has been affected with our energy. Like I said, I'm standing here and I felt like I was drunk. Jason saw movement in what we're calling the death room. The reason is, is because somebody died there. So we got mom doing a solo session in there. Every one of us has been affected in some way. Frankie had to leave. He gets up at 5 a.m. But I want to tell you, I'm standing right here at this doorway and I heard a man breathe in my ear I mean look at Jason he's just I, I can't explain it I have not had a case in a long time where everybody's been affected and feeling like we're drunk yeah it's a fun house effect yeah it feels like you're just walking and you're like woo so I apologize for not updating we got an energy mode on to give them energy and like I said it went crazy for a minute and watch this let me turn this light off everywhere we go it wasn't like it earlier in the night oh no it did not spike at all when that started spiking is when we started being affected and like I said Jason was almost shoved against the wall his hairs are standing up now listen to that It started slow, and then it is now 12.45, and it is kicking so much that we don't even know where we're going. We don't even know what's going on. Oh, Everything's just happening. It wasn't plug here. Not the plug. But I wanted to update y'all. I uh, said so we'd do a live session in there for a little bit. It went nuts. Sorry. It went nuts. And where Jason's going is where we keep getting junk happen. That's just a mud room. Nothing's to it. So we'll update. Before we leave, we're not leaving yet because we'd be stupid to leave when it's kicking like this. But uh, I just wanted to update y'all. I don't know what that is. All right. We're back, guys. I apologize for the quickness. Uh, like I said, it was going nuts, so I didn't know how to explain it. But if you comment and I don't see you, I apologize. It's not all stroll scrolling. But uh, we're going to go through and have everybody. I don't know what that little thing down there is. I've got like a glint on my phone. Anyway. Mom, I know it's bright, but explain to us. Hold on a minute. Explain to us what happened to you. Just recently? Yeah. Okay. 
I had the all the recorder in the dead room, and I was talking to the the people in there. There's a little boy and a little woman, and I said, "Little boy, what's your name?" I know you're scared. All of said Patty, which would be Patrick. Well, I went in the doorway of the earlier than that. I went in the doorway of the laundry room, and to the left, I could hear. <sighs> That's what they've been hearing all day in their ear. Yeah, we found out he was innocent. shot in the chest. We've had all kinds of. Uh, with the camera, we've had all kinds of pictures and uh, energy anomalies, a tall man, uh, shadows. shadows, we have all kinds of stuff. Walking on the linoleum, you could hear it. Yeah, and to show you, that room right there is what I was talking about. Yep. Where that grate is, I would go right past it right there. And that's when I started hearing the man whisper in my ear, I don't understand it. The whole area is nuts. Yeah. That whole area is crazy. Like I said, the client had a picture right there. Two pictures he took. One was nothing, and one was a little bit above the trash can like a child. <laughs> I swear I just saw something. Dude, did you all see it? Too? If you all saw that, let me know. I know that's a shadow from the trash can, but I swear I saw something move right there. So if you saw it, let me know. And like I said, if I don't see your comments... I apologize, they're not appearing up all the way. All right, Jeff, what did you experience beside the fridge? Walked in there and it was like pressure just pushing my head back. And it was all the way inside my head. And oh, what else back there? That's her footstep back here. I saw that thought right then, that's all I was all experienced, but I, I do know we got a little boy here. Yeah. Okay. Now, Jay, <laughs> what did you experience, sir? Well, the first thing I experienced was this big, big old guy, had a big gun on him. He, back in the laundry room, he walked from my left to right. He was moving pretty quick. <coughs> and then a little bit later, we started back into the death room. And uh, I felt a ring in my ears when I first started in, but as soon as I passed, passed over the threshold of the bedroom, it was almost like a force shoved me up the side of the wall and just about touched the wall. And I felt sick and disoriented for a good 20 minutes. Yeah. And almost the same thing. I'm going to flip this camera around. Almost the same thing as what he explained is what I felt. I was standing, actually walking, trying to stop that light, into what we're calling the death room again. Like I said, the reason we call it that is an old lady died there. But... Let me take you there. As we're walking, I'm trying to flip the camera and it's not flipping. There we go. Right here, as soon as I got here, I felt like I was being shoved against the wall. Standing here by the fridge, I had to hold on to the fridge. It was that kind of sensation like if I let go, I'd be in the floor. Now where I'm standing right now is by the stove. No EMF, by the way. Jason just about passed out. I had my hand on his back and he was swaying. Now, this happened at midnight that all this started kicking out. And you did see something. It's on camera. Okay, I'll show you that here in a minute. But this box is an obelisk. It usually speaks. This one right here is set for EMF mode. It's energy mode. It gives off the energy for them to kind of pull off kind of like a battery. Yeah, I saw it now I'm going to see something here. What, what you said you saw? You said you saw something? Let's see if we can see that. As I was filming, the client was filming. And right there. There it is. Yep. I don't know if you all saw that, but there was a shadow. So like I said, it's pretty cool. We usually wrap up at one. I think we're going to stick around for a little bit and see what goes on. Again, if you're interacting, I'm not seeing it. I will eventually see it, and I promise you I will interact. Uh, we're going to do what I'm going to call a live questionnaire tomorrow. I'll get on there, and if you got questions about the case, <laughs> then I can answer them. There was a footstep behind me. Interesting. Let me turn off this light. You are going to investigate with us. <laughs> I've got some friends that's here on this device. 
Can you please show yourself to us? That is not orbs, that is dust. We do not believe in orbs. Orbs is nothing more but dust or bugs or moisture. Very rare will a orb be energy. Sorry. Oh, you're fine. I just felt somebody behind me. Can you show yourself? Right in that room right there. What you are hearing is client video. What was that? No, that breath. Okay. Are you shaking? Yeah, I can't hold it still. It looks like it's blurred. That's fine. Yeah. Jay's going to walk back here and see what happens. I can't turn the light off because y'all won't see nothing. Jason's in there where you was affecting him. Can you touch him again? If you are commenting, I'm not seeing it. Hello, everybody. Come on, you infected us right here. Affect us again. There it goes, Jay. I feel that. Hi, Lori. I feel that funhouse effect again. That thing that I keep hearing sounds like a breath, a real loud breath. And it's only on your phone. I don't think I did that, did I? When I was talking about the shadow I saw? Play that again. Where the door slammed. Yep. That is so weird. If you can zoom in right there. So they see the face on the wall. Mm -hmm. Right there. That is so cool. So I did see something. Yeah. Jason's got movement. Can you slam that door open again? I have my eyes closed. You put a hole in the wall with it. Throw it open. I didn't know you was there. I had my eyes closed. Open up. You was there. Standing here, I feel super shaky. Yeah. And I can tell on my phone. <laughs> See, like I said earlier, this door, I'm in here by myself. In the kids' room, out front. This is out back. And this door hit so hard, it put a dent in the wall. I screenshot it. Hold on, the client screenshot it. Let me take it off. What the heck? What? Whoa. Right yep. See, I saw, he screenshotted that. That's what I saw standing there. Oh, wow. That's, it, it's getting insane. Like I said, normally at 1 o'clock, we're already wrapping up. And I feel like I can't. We are chasing these spirits around. So tomorrow, we're going to do a live questionnaire if you all have questions. About our case, feel free to ask. I can take some of you and bring you in as video. But I want you to look at this couch. I don't know where the K2 is. It's electronic. Hold on. All right, it's an EMF detector. Electromagnetic field detector. And I'm trying to find it. There it is. I'm sorry. We had it on there. No, it's a couch. It should not emit any energy. Look at this. That's been happening for the last two hours. So it's pretty insane. So before we wrap up, I'll go live again. And we will interact with you all. 
I just wanted to do a slower update because last time I was really excited. I wish you all could be here with us, but I'm going to sign off and we'll interact soon. It was just taken here between the two. Yeah. In this house.